discovery and vocabulary. Hey, what up, why? Yo, we're about to slide to the other side of town and play a little bit. You know that song? Yeah. I'm going to be here in like five song? minutes. All right, cool. I'm Who sang it? Slide. You see, you just discover it. Oh, what I'm feeling. Look what we've overcome. Oh, what I'm feeling. Look what we've overcome. I'm going to wave away my flag. Got a lot of reasons. We are the champions. There ain't no turning, turning back. Say, oh, 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 can't you sense the feeling, feeling, say, oh, 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 we all together singing, look what we've overcome, look how far we've come, 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 now, 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 that's beauty in the united we found, I'm ready, I'm ready, we still got a long way, but look how far we've come, now, 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 Hands up for your colors. Yes, hands up for your colors. All that is worth doing is worth doing well. Tout ce qui mérite d'être fait, mérite d'être bien fait. And that's why, c'est pourquoi, Gadwin and I are always nip and tuck to make you, dear listeners, learn the English language the fastest and the most efficient way. Welcome to Learning Dear and Faithful Listeners. We rendezvous here this Wednesday evening. Let's talk about football once again. Hi, yes, uh, hi, Eliro. Once again, you've said a lot of expressions in your introduction. A lot of expressions? Yes. What Are you Where? sure? You said all that is worth doing is worth doing. Ah, okay. All that is worth, worth doing, doing is, is worth, worth doing, doing well. well. And I explained it. It means... Let's speak it. Yeah, but uh, explaining like that is not good. Okay. Do you want me to, to say it again? To repeat it? Yes. Okay. All that is worth doing is worth doing, doing well. well. Tout ce qui mérite d'être fait, mérite d'être bien fait, tout simplement. And then you talked about nip and tuck. Yes, nip and tuck. We've already said it last time. That's not a new expression. But I forgot. You nip forget. and tuck. Yeah. Okay. You a forgetful boy. <laughs> what you, is nip? You a forgetful boy. What is nip and tuck? Nip and tuck, c'est coup à coup. Coup à coup, qui veut simplement coup à coup. Nip ensemble and tuck. Nip so and tuck. So Godwin and Eliro are nip and tuck. Yeah, Godwin and Eliro sont ensemble. Okay. Coup à coup. For once, I understand your expression. Please don't forget it again. I will never forget. It Our again. listeners don't forget expressions. But uh, the, 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 the teacher, teacher himself learned. forgets, <laughs> so the listeners must that, forget from time to time. That's a sin. It's a péché, ça. No, it's a bad péché. It's a normal. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, how are you? I'm very fine. How are you? I'm well. How are you living the World Cup season? The World Cup is very interesting for me, especially because my favorite team is in the, has gone to the finals already. Uh, yeah. Has qualified. Are you sure? Yes. My I favorite think, team is France. I think you told me that when you, you support a team, uh, it's quali- it's uh, sent home. I think I give bad looks to the teams I support. So, because I supported Nigeria. Yeah. Nigeria went home. Mm-hmm. I supported Germany. Germany went home. Okay. I decided to support Belgium. And they went home. No. <laughs> so tomorrow. Okay. Well, well. No. Okay. Today, today we have the second match of the semi-finals. Exactly. Nous avons le second match de de la demi-finale. demi-finale oui. Yeah. The second match of the semi-finals. semifinals. This evening at 7 p.m. Now, which team are you supporting? I'm supporting England. <laughs> uh, please, please support the second team. I'm supporting England because no. I want England to go oh. home. Ah, okay. okay. I want England to disqualify. Okay, what is the second team? Croatia. Croatia. Mm-hmm. Oh, please, I beg your pardon. Please support Croatia. Oh, because you want la Croatie. You want please support Croatia because you are a bad luck bringer. <laughs> because you, you have bad la malchance. You bring bad luck on the team you support. That's why I'm supporting England. Yeah, please. I because want Because I to, want England to go home. Please, please. Do you do you love me? Yes, I do. So if you love me, support mm-hmm. Croatia. Si tu anyway, m'aimes vraiment, anyway, vous supportez la Croatie. Let's get back to business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we today, are in business and on est déjà, <laughs> on est déjà dans les affaires. So, so I, I'm just begging you to support Croatia because I I'm, want England to be in the finals. And I'm not listening je, je, to you je, because je, I want Croatia to be in the finals. Oh. Okay. Anyway, if Croatia goes to the final, mm-hmm. the French team will beat him. No. 
anyway. Okay. Do you want us to bet? Do you compare? No. Do you want us to bet? Gambling is bad, ah. so I will not bet. No, I, I don't ask you to gamble. Uh -huh. I just want you to bet. This bet. is a, this is a support. So betting and gambling is the same thing. Ah, okay. What anyway. are we talking about today? Ah, your favorite question. My favorite that question. question. <laughs> you knew it would come already. Your favorite question. Anyway, I knew you would ask that question. You knew so or I'm, I'm prepared for it. You must know. Yeah. By now, you must be used to it. Yeah, I'm already used to it. So I'm not surprised. Eh? Je ne suis pas surpris du tout. I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> then answer me. <laughs> okay, this evening, I think we've been talking about football since yes. uh, we've started this World For the Cup. past uh, four weeks, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. For about a month ago. About a month. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll be talking about football till the end of the football uh, World Cup. So, yeah. Which so, is on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. The finals. Uh, it will be a very great event. The finals, that's um, France versus England. Croatia. No. It's <laughs> plutôt <laughs> la France et puis l'Angleterre. No. France versus England. It's the contrary. It's it Croatia. Be, it will be a very great match. Okay, we will see. Please, if you are all that confident, mm -hmm. bet with me. I want you to bet. Okay, but we are not going to bet on... Let's, I don't know, what do you want us to bet on? If I ever, mm -hmm. okay, if I ever win the prize. Exactly. Okay, you will... Um, uh, what will I ask you to buy for me? Qu'est-ce que vous te demander d'acheter pour moi? I'm telling you at once, I don't have money. So you don't have money. Tu n'as pas d'argent. So it should be. You don't have money. It should be some for at least. Okay. Oh. Anything that is worth more than some for, I'm not buying for you. You are a poor man. I'm a rich man. You know, you are a poor man. I'm rich in the. You spirit. don't have money, so I don't go. I'm not going to 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 make any bet with you. Thank God. You know, I know that Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> I know that France <laughs> je, je play avec toi. Okay. I don't bet anything with you. Okay. Okay, so this evening we're going to talk about what happens around a football match. Exactly. What happens around a football match and people who take care of the players. Donc on va parler de, de ce qui se passe autour d'un match de football, c'est-à-dire avant, pendant et après, après le match. Et ensuite de, de, de ces différentes personnes qui sont impliquées dans l'organisation des matchs de football et de ceux-là qui prennent soin justement des joueurs. All right, so we'll talk about um, what happens around the football match. Around, that is before, during, during and, and after, after the match. Yeah. All right. And then people who take care about, oh, sorry, who take care of the players. Who take care of the players. Yeah, les gens qui prennent soin des joueurs. Um, first of all, yeah. We should talk about what happens before a football match. <laughs> yes, but before we we go down to business, I would like you, mm -hmm. as you are used to doing, to remind us, us of what we yeah, did last no, week. Not all of it, but just some of what we did last time. Um. Okay, last week uh, we learned certain expressions. Yeah, certain I'll expressions. I'll start with to dribble. To dribble. Dribbler. Yeah. To pass. Faire une passe. Yeah. To tackle. Yeah, talking about faire une passe. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we call une passe décisive? Uh, mm -hmm. An assist. Yeah, I was singing. Okay. <laughs> so, to tackle, <laughs> c'est faire un tackle. Yeah. To commit a foul, commettre une faute. <laughs> to be eliminated, <laughs> être éliminé. To be qualified, <laughs> être qualifié. Uh, an own goal. C'est marqué contre son propre camp, c'est-à-dire autogol. Uh, to score a goal, marquer un but. A goalkeeper, c'est le gardien de but. To equalize, c'est égaliser. And uh, to defend, défendre. Yeah. Et to equalize, c'est égaliser. Ouais. Et qu'est-ce que nous appelons equalizer? Le but égalisateur. Voilà, equalizer. Le but égalisateur. On appelle ça equalizer. Equalizer. Yeah, so we're going to tackle the lesson today. Yes, on va, on va tacler la lesson. <laughs> <laughs> on va plutôt attaquer. On va attaquer la lesson. <laughs> tackle is the same as attack. Yeah, we're going to abord something. Okay, I mean, on va aborder la lesson. <laughs> <laughs> different synonyms, different words. Yeah, different. When you, same when you put the words yes. in another context, it means something else. Okay. Donc, lorsque vous mettez le mot dans un autre 
contest ça a un autre sens. Donc, yeah. So only one word can have uh, many meanings yeah. according to how you use it. Ah. Selon comment vous l'employez, un seul mot peut avoir beaucoup de signification. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, I yeah. always learn on this and, program. And, and at least you forget. Oh, I always forget. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong, but I always forget. You are suffering from Alzheimer's. So we are going to talk about what happens before the match. Yeah, what happens before the match then? Um, the players train, right? Yeah, they train. Mm -hmm. So to the train is uh, s'entraîner. Yeah, to train, uh, s'entraîner. To train, s'entraîner. Yeah, so I train myself. Je m'entraîne. And um, the talking about training, mm -hmm. we have um, maybe how do we call it? The coach, the person who helps the players to mm -hmm. to, I was to make physical to exercises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do we call that person? How much will it? <laughs> I need <laughs> the fitness coach. Ah, you want to ask? You wanted to ask money, right? Yes, I wanted to make it a game. Yeah, the fitness coach. The fitness coach is the le... coach de musculation. Oui, the coach de musculation. The fitness coach. Yeah. And then, um, do you have I... do you have any uh, fitness coach? Yes, his name is Mr. Chito. I don't know if you know him. Exactly. How how do you know? Yeah, I know him. I know everything. You He's know, too. obviously. <laughs> his name is Mr. Chito. He's yeah, my Mr. fitness Chito. coach. Yeah, I'm a fitness coach. C'est mon coach de... Musculation. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before that, yeah. the players rest in a locker room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a locker room. A locker room, c'est... Les vestiaires. Les vestiaires. The locker room. The players rest after the match. Even um, ah, even before the, the match, match, the yeah. rest in the locker room. Donc que ce soit avant ou après yeah. le match, les, les joueurs restent dans le dans les vestiaires. vestiaires. Et les vestiaires, ça se dit locker rooms. Ou bien on peut dire simplement locker des fois. Locker. Okay. Et ça s'écrit L O C K E R. Oui. L O C K. And room. Oui. Chambre. Oui. R O O M. Yeah. Locker ah, room. Okay. Les vestiaires. Yeah. During halftime, yeah, they players go, back go to the, to the, the yeah, room. and the rest. Donc, à la mi-temps, ils les joueurs repartent au locker room. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? I don't know. You're the one talking. So before the match, um, yeah. the players have a medical visit. Yeah, a medical visit. The visit, visit medical. Mm -hmm. And the, who is in charge of it? The qui, qui est chargé de cela? The club doctor. Ah oh, ouais, the club doctor. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah, le docteur du club. Oui, le, le médecin, médecin du, du club. club. Donc le médecin celui-là qui est en charge de la santé, qui a pour responsabilité de maintenir les joueurs en bonne santé, c'est lui qu'on appelle the club doctor. doctor. I think he's the club doctor is even in charge of the food that the players yeah, yeah, take. Yeah, he's even in charge of the food they should eat mm -hmm. and the time um, they should eat the yeah, food. And, and, donc le, le le médecin du club. En charge, est en charge de, de, ce que, de ce que les, les joueurs doivent consommer et des heures euh, auxquelles chaque joueur doit consommer quoi que ce soit. Exactly. Yeah. So, before the match, I think that's it for before the match. What else yeah. do they do? That's not it, but I think it's all that, all that we're going to talk about this evening. Yes. Si on doit Dur tout dire, euh, during the match, um, actions taken during the match. Yeah, we also have uh, the medics. Yes, the medics. What do they do? The medics, ce sont les médecins qui soignent les joueurs quand ils sont blessés. Ah, ce sont ceux-là qui viennent soigner les joueurs. Sur le terrain. Oui, sur le terrain ou bien, oui, voilà. Pour soigner les joueurs. So, they are medics. Yeah, medics. Medics, ça s'écrit M-E-D-I-C-S. Medics. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I was forgetting. Yeah. What is the nickname of the Beninese national team? Beninese national team. Nickname d'abord, ça veut dire surnom. A Beninese national team, I think it's squirrels. Squirrels? Yes, yeah, squirrels. It's, it's a good name for a team. <laughs> Squirrel, but ça veut dire How can you no, call? Okay. Hey, Mr. Man, we don't want to, to know anything about okay, that. Okay, no. So, okay. A nickname, ça veut dire surnom. Mm -hmm. Et euh, parlant de, du nickname de, de notre équipe nationale, là, c'est les écureuils les du Bénin. Écureuils du Bénin. Et, écureuils en anglais, ça se dit squirrel. Et ici, lorsque nous prenons par exemple d'autres équipes, on a les diables rouges, et ça c'est pour la Belgique. La Belgique. On a the aussi, Red Devils. Yeah, the Red Devils. 
on a aussi les Super Eagles. Ça, du les, Nigeria. Du Nigeria. On a les à Black côté. Stars. Du Ghana. Et bon, je ne sais pas. Yeah. On a euh, les Lions de la Teranga aussi. Du ça, Sénégal, Sénégal, je crois. So on and so forth. Donc, euh, tout ce qu'on vient de citer, ce sont des nicknames. Names. Nicknames, ce qui est surnom. Donc, c'est le nom que porte une équipe en dehors de, de sa dénomination d'équipe nationale de tel ou bien de tel autre pays. Ok. Yeah, I have a question. You like putting questions? I like putting questions. Yeah, you are a questioner. I'm a question. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm someone who likes asking, asking questions. Yes, I know. There's nothing like a questioner. Yeah, I know it. So, uh, I'm not surprised. What do we call um, three goals in a match? Ah, three goals. Mm. Uh, three goals I scored by the same player. It is a um, hat trick. A hat trick. Yeah, a hat trick. I think it is triplé. Oui, triplé, coup, hat, du, hat, coup du chapeau. Yeah, um, C'est quand le même joueur marque trois buts oui. dans un on match. On a fait trois actions décisives dans, dans un match. match. On appelle ça un uh, hat trick. There's even a perfect hat trick. Do you know what that is? No, tell me. C'est quand le joueur marque trois buts avec uh, um, his right foot, uh -huh. son pied droit, oh, yeah. his left foot, uh -huh. son pied gauche, and the header. Ah, ok, ok. So we call he, it a he, perfect he hat uses trick. all the men he has to at his score, disposal to score a goal. To score the perfect so hat trick. So that's a perfect hat trick. Hat trick. Scoring on parle, de, on parle de perfect hat trick lorsque le joueur marque euh, trois buts successifs ah, avec oui. un, son pied gauche et la suite son pied droit ouais. et ensuite avec la tête. Donc ça c'est perfect un, hat trick. Voilà, un coup de chapeau perfect. Parfait. Oh, I want to, I want to say perfect. <laughs> okay, another expression. A header. A header. I think a header is a goal that is called with a head. With, uh, oui, un coup de tête. Oui, un it, coup de tête. It doesn't necessarily have to be a goal. Yeah. yeah. When a player uh, kicks, no, not kicks, the ball, <laughs> uses his head to play the ball. Yeah. We it's call it a, a header. header. Yeah. Donc, quand le joueur tête le ballon, on appelle ça en anglais a header. header. Que ça soit un but ou une passe, c'est un header. Yeah. À partir du moment où c'est sa tête qui a joué le ballon. And when a header is in front of the goalkeeper, yeah, and the goalkeeper catches it, yeah, we call it a save. A save. A save. Donc on parle de save, S-A-V-E, lorsque le gardien attrape le ballon pour l'empêcher de pour rentrer, rentrer dans, dans le filet. Ouais. Un save. A save, c'est l'action d'attraper le ballon, ballon par le gardien. Um, after, what, what do we call um, a hill? Do you know the expression? A hill. A hill? Oh, yeah. A back hill. No. What? Yeah. A back hill. <laughs> <laughs> a back hill. I was confused. Yeah. I a like back hill. You. you like putting yeah. questions and I like confusing people. Okay. So, <laughs> we're a good <laughs> team. So, you want to ask the question and I like mixing people. D'accord. I see. It's normal. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to use a bad expression. Yeah. Did you want Do to we insult say, me? Do we say mélangeur? Um, I don't know. But we can use it for another... To mean something else. Yeah. Quelqu'un qui mélange. Yeah. He's a mixture. Oh, a mixture. mixture. Yeah, a mixer. Yeah, a mixer. Mm -hmm. A mélangeur. A mélangeur. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a... Bad word or bad expression. I in really French, is a bad expression, but, but in, in English, English it's, a mixer yeah, is same. Yeah, in English, it's correct. But we're I, talking about a back hill. Yeah, a back hill. C'est une talonnade. Oui, une talonnade. A back hill. Yeah, a back hill. And um, a sensational goal uh, using a bicycle kick. Yeah, a bicycle kick. Mm? A bicycle mm. kick. C'est un retourné. Un retourné. Oui. Acrobatique, euh, oui, retourner, bon, tout si simple. Si tu veux, ouais. tu peux dire retourner acrobatique, mais c'est la même chose. Moi, j'aime les choses courtes. A bicycle kick. Yeah, a bicycle kick. Talking about a bicycle kick. Yeah. My favorite player yeah. scored a bicycle kick. Yeah. And who is your favorite player? C'est quoi? C'est qui ton joueur préféré? Cristiano Ronaldo, of course. Ah, he's your favorite player. And he even, he, he's in the new Mr. team. Mr. Man, now. please, forget about that. Okay, he's he, called a bicycle kick. A may, bicycle he, kick. may he be in a new team or in an old team? He's at Juventus now. A bicycle <laughs> kick, c'est un retourné. Oui, un retourné. And then... Um, Uh, we can talk about a defensive wall. Yeah, a defensive wall. That's le mur defensive. 
le mur défensif. Je crois que c'est ce mur-là qu'on place pour jouer le coup franc. Ah, oui, oui. c'est le mur défensif. Les joueurs font un genre de mur. Yeah, and uh, while playing a football match, when the ball uh, goes out from the pitch, yes, there are some people who send the ball back to the pitch. Oh! Yeah, how do we call them? Comment, lorsque le ballon sort du terrain, il y a des... Lorsque le ballon sort du terrain, on les appelle the, the ball boys, the ball boy. Yeah, the ball, the ball boy. boy, les ramasseurs de oui, balles. Oui, the les ball ramasseurs ball. de balles. The ball boys. Ball. Yeah. Ball. The ball boys. boy is ramasseur de, de balles. Ball. Et ball, ça s'écrit comme ballon, ball. Et oui. puis boy, comme un garçon. garçon. Donc, le ball boy, c'est un garçon, tout simplement. And then yeah. those who are in charge of um, equipment in a team. Yeah, those, those who, who are in charge, charge of materials, yeah, for we the team. We call them kit men. Kids man, man, not kids oh. man. <laughs> kids you man. You like watching movies? Then you kids want to. Man. Kids kids man, c'est les chargés des équipements. Oui, celui qui est en charge des équipements, c'est kids man. man. Hey, Mr. Man, will you let me speak? Okay, please. <laughs> Donc, lorsqu'on parle de kids man, c'est yeah. celui qui est en charge des équipements. Kids yeah. comme K-I-T et puis man, man. M-A-N. Et man. kit, c'est les équipements. Oui, kit, c'est les équipements, tout simplement. Yeah. Um, we can also talk about um, We are the champions. The corner flag. Turning, turning les drapeaux de coin. Oui, les drapeaux de coin, c'est the corner flag. Corner, comme corner, on en a parlé ici. Et puis flag, F-L-A-G, drapeau. Yes. And um, we also have something. Yes. Yes, say it. During a match, yeah. when you want, when you are angry against me for yeah. example when you're angry against me and you yeah. want to beat me what do you do hey i don't know because i've never been angry with you <laughs> maybe <laughs> you punch me ah no i don't punch you do you see players punch each other on the field no but the goalkeeper can punch the ball to send it away oh yeah. so players not punch each other no 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 it is not a, a, a boxing a boxing pitch Oh, so it's a football pitch. It's different. It's a football pitch. I thought the punch on the football pitch was when players fight. No, 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 no. The punch on the on the football pitch is when the the goalkeeper, the custodian, punches the ball to send it out of the goal. Oh. On parle de punch lorsque le gardien, the goalkeeper, donne un coup de poing ou bien le coup de poing au ballon. Pour... I honestly thought this was about fighting. No, it was not about fighting. C'est pas, it's, it's not about kickboxing. <laughs> so, um, Donc, on parle de punch lorsque le gardien met un coup de poing dans le ballon pour, pour le, le dévier. Oui. Oui. And then, after that, yeah. we have um, the groundsman. Yeah, the groundsman. The groundsman, c'est celui-là qui est en charge de, du terrain. C'est celui qui taille le gazon, c'est celui qui s'occupe du tracé. C'est lui qu'on appelle groundsman. Anything to add? Yeah, if I should add uh, anything, I would say uh, thanks for having been there with me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there were more expressions. Yeah, there are more expressions, but I think Mr. Joannes Kojo is uh, waving the end of this program. Yeah. So as usual, I'm going to remind you of what we yes, talked about. Some of them. Some of them. We talked about... Um, hey, hey, I, I want to ask you something. Yes. Have you ever seen a player spitting on the ground? Very disgusting. Yes. <laughs> I've seen a lot of players yes, do it. but it's very disgusting when they speed on the, but, but it's, it's normal, normal. It's, yeah, normal it's normal when they are using they are almost dehydrated on the yeah, field yeah they are dehydrated sont déshydraté mm -hmm. dehydrated so they spit and um, to spit say cracher. cracher and spitting say the cracher all right yeah so as i was saying uh, we have a hat trick yeah hat trick coup yeah. du chapeau oui, triplé um, a header coup de tête coup de tête a save a save qui est quand le gardien attrape le ballon. A defensive wall. Un mur défensif. A back heel. Le back heel, c'est une talonnade. A corner flag. A corner flag, un drapeau de coin. A locker room. Un locker room, c'est le vestiaire. A bicycle kick. Bicycle kick, retourné. Ou bien retourné acrobatique. Um, Comme a tu l'aimes bien. Yes. <laughs> a a punch, c'est le coup de poing pour sortir le ballon. Uh, to spit. To speed, c'est cracher. The groundsman. The groundsman, c'est le, le responsable du terrain. A fitness coach. A fitness coach. Le, le 
coach de musculation. Then the kids man, the kids man, le responsable des équipements, le chargé des équipements. The club doctor, the club doctor, le médecin du club. The ball boy, the ball boy, le ramasseur de ballons ou bien le ramasseur du ballon. The medics, the medics, ce sont les les soigneurs, oui, ceux les qui médecins. soignent les joueurs. Quand, quand And ils sont. then uh, the nickname of the a nickname, team, c'est le, le, le surnom. Sure. Voilà, I've been able to say that surnom. Sure. No. Ah, yeah. Today you brought a lot of inspiration. Yes. Yeah, I great. did a lot of research. Yeah, you. Okay, we I'm both. Going, we both to... did a lot of research. <laughs> anyway, I, I think uh, people can find this program on our YouTube channel, right? Of course. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of it? Mr. Chito T. Yeah, Mr. Chito C T dot. Yeah. Donc vous pouvez retrouver ce programme sur notre chaîne YouTube, également sur notre page Facebook. Ado learning English. Yeah, so, vous avez des questions, vous avez des suggestions. Never mind, just contact us on, on our, our page. Facebook page and put your comments, which we'll appreciate yeah. because it help us develop. Parce que vous allez regarder nos vidéos sur YouTube, n'oubliez pas de partager, d'aimer, de vous abonner surtout. Bye bye. Thank you and see you next week. Thank you, Mr. Johannes. <laughs> With your flags, so you two colors. What's your problem, Mr. Man? Something man. Ah, that's your song, right? No, I don't know. Now I'm going to catch the camera. I'm not the song. I'm telling you, it's a bit crazy. I'm telling you. It's a touch. It's a touch. It's a touch. Me the the ambiance and song. Stand up and dance. People can see you. Come here. Come here. Come here and dance. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fool. He's a fool. <laughs> Mr. Shari.